Hey folks, um, long overdue a video. I've not had my lazy ass out in the garage for a while. A, because it's been in minus two degrees up here in Scotland and I've lost all enthusiasm to come out into my leaky shithole of a garage. B, because I've had a lot of other projects ongoing, not bike related, kind of bike related, try to sort my website a little bit, try to get some more awesome t-shirt designs building a cool pallet wall so that I can make my garage a little bit nicer for trying to get some good videos starting next year. Um, so today I'm going to try and get the back of Scrambles broken, not literally, I've got to just kind of make sure the carburetors are working, I've got a few things I need to try and change to see if I can get that running, if not then I've got a backup in the form of another carburetor, don't really want to go down that route yet, um, ideally I really want to start my other project, this one is dragging on so much. I have an XS750 Yamaha, which I'll explain a little bit more about uh, in another video, but I'm absolutely chomping at the bit to get stuck into that and butcher the shit out of that motorbike. Um, scrambles, I've not lost, I've not fallen out of love, but I'm just, I'm running quickly out of enthusiasm. So hopefully these tweaks with the uh, carburetors will work and we'll have a bike. I mean, it's near enough good enough to go. It just needs to get an MOT, but I don't want to get it MOT'd if it doesn't rev past 3,500 RPM. There's no point in having a bike that doesn't run properly. So, try that today, see how we get on, um, and hope it's a good one. So, I've not accepted defeat with the velocity stacks, although I want to be sure that I can get it to run. I've eliminated all hope of trying to get my uh, airbox back on because I cut it out, that wasn't part of my design. Um, I've ended up sourcing some Ram Air uh, pod style filters. Um, I don't know whether the velocity stack, the shape of it, it's got... I don't know. I think these carbs are quite sensitive to changes in uh, the, the, uh, the airflow. So, I think by adding a velocity stack, it seemed to be once it got above a certain level, air was horsing in, uh, too much air was probably getting in, but it was quite lean up to a point and then it was far too rich or it was the other way around. So I've tried something that's hopefully, when I open the throttle, I'm not causing an acceleration of air going in more than what the, the carb would be typically designed for, if that makes sense. Um, the velocity stack's whole purpose is to increase the airflow. Um, the, the profile of it, whereas these don't necessarily cause a, a funneling effect into the carburetor. So my thoughts are I could at least try and get it running with these. If that's working, then good. Um, hopefully it works. Um, if not, then I'll set it on fire and start again.
pra... So I have fitted the, I've raised the needle height uh, back to a more normal setting because that wasn't really helping me before. And I have fitted, uh, oh Christ, a couple of uh, ram air filters in here just to see how they work, just to see if we can get it, get it working uh, on the bike. Um, so I'm going to go and start the bike up now, let it warm up, and then I shall Hopefully see whether this has worked or not. So, attempt two. Okay, that was really, Jesus Christ, look at my hair. That was good, that's the first time I've ever been out in it. Woo! -hoo! Well, since I've rebuilt it. Which meant it was also kind of terrifying because I built it and... Yeah, so, it was good. Um, pulls well, I didn't have a helmet on or it's not registered and it's not... It <laughs> shouldn't be on the road anyway, but I just wanted to have a quick run in it and make sure it was running okay. So, I think what I want to do now is call this video done, the pod filters are a success, the bike runs a lot sweeter now um, I need to now get the bike ready for assembled T and I really want to kind of do a, a cross check on everything to make sure it's all tight um, when I was coming down the hill it, the bike felt like it was I don't know maybe the tires a bit dead, probably should have checked that as well anyway the, um, the bike itself though, uh, engines must be doing alright, I did notice a slight what looked like an oily patch uh, in the wet ground next to where the bike was and there also appears to be a bit of a uh, around about here a bit smoking um, which I don't know if there's a slight oil leak which would be quite annoying seeing as the whole point this project started was to prevent to fix an oil leak um, just a sec so um, I'm gonna do a bit of digging see what's going on but Chuffed with that, good fun to get out on it, quite satisfying being able to ride something that I've built, so uh, thumbs up to that, 
try to get through Semotino and make sure that there's nothing catastrophic in terms of oil leaks or wherever the hell that's coming from. But it means now I can also start looking at my other project. So next video explaining what the other project is and what we're going to do with it. Cheers guys.